I believe we already read this, so I'm not going to read it again. But welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2. Prepare for cutscenes! Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. In his story, you heard it. Dude, that's not even Snake. Based on the voice, that's not Snake. So who the hell is this? Objectives. One. Infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. This is very reminiscent of of Metal Gear Solid One in terms of like how the mission is set up. SEAL Team Ten is also conducting a rescue operation. No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. Okay. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration and VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you the codec will beep when you hear that noise 
press Yeah, dude, button. I got this already. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small I guess because this is like no you can start from this point. They had to make sure the tutorial right. was in both parts. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? You climb a ladder, bitch. There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Wow. Use that. This is very much like the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 1. The only difference is, I don't think we're actually Snake, which is weird. Product of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Smart skin. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. Just a little bit. So how much more is the fucking general going to talk? He's talking a lot. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Okay, so, wow. Kind of a... A little bit of a curveball has been thrown at me here. We are not Solid Snake anymore. We are now... Well, we're, we're a snake. I don't know what snake. Maybe we're Gaseous Snake. Because we, we know Liquid Snake is inside of Ocelot. And we know Solid Snake is Solid Snake. So we'll just call this guy Gaseous Snake. Or we'll just call him Raiden, since that's apparently what he's going to be called. But just keep in mind that he was called snake to begin with so there's got to be a reason for this could he be another clone i wouldn't be surprised all right so anyways uh there's a lot of bugs sorry i was getting a little um sidetracked by these bugs i'm just like exploring for no reason because there's no goddamn items in this area so are we are we bare here we got a scope binoculars we got an AP sensor, which... Okay, that's cool. What do we have? Uh, no weapons. No nothing. We're bare ass once again. Yeah, I guess that... Oh, there's a thing. Oh, we can crawl under here. Should I go? Actually, before I do that, I want to check what's in these lockers. But anyways, the, I guess since this is like uh, the part of the game where you can technically start off, then that's why I'm guessing that they set this up the way they did to where that actually explains things again at the beginning. They try to make it seem like the beginning of the game again because, well, at the very beginning of the game, if you recall, I got to be able to choose the tanker or the plant, and I chose the tanker and the plant, so we got to play both parts of the game. You guys said that this is the real beginning to Metal Gear Solid 2. I got at least one comment that said that, and it made me kind of think and then go, oh, great. You mean we haven't even, like, begun this? Like, we've only just begun this shit. Um, now that we can climb on shit, though, I'm going to have a little bit of fun trying to climb on shit and see what happens. I guess that doesn't... I was. I see, like, an area over there where there could be something. Anyway, let's crawl in the, in the vent first just to see. Whoa, whoa! What the... What the fuck? He could do a car wheel! Or, yeah, a car, like a handless cartwheel. That is... That's impressive, bro. Snake could never do that, not even in his young days. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I don't know that for sure. Let's go check this way, because I think this is where that that ration or whatever the hell is over here is that I saw. Wait, what's... That's a dead end. Yeah, I see a ration straight ahead. It's weird to be in first-person mode with this guy. He has these goggles on, so it's all red. It's so strange. I'll take all the extra rations I can get, bro. I guess this is just a dead end. Okie dokie, back to the... God, I, that's so awesome that he can cartwheel. That just... That just makes me like him better than Snake already. Sorry, Solid Snake, but you're garbage. You're garbage. Go back to your snake hole, bro. Is that a dead end? That looks like a dead end. Then let's go straight and see where this goes. See if there's anything cool in here. And then we'll go back out and touch the door with the elevator. But this looks like a room. Oh, no, this is just to the side over here. Anything down here? Oh, no, this is just the side. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Triangle button. Action button. Yeah. What is that? There's a person. It's... Who is it? What the fuck? Who is it? Is it just a guard? 
Looks like a guard that is actually just recovering from getting his ass knocked out. So that's probably a clue. Oh, back to the conversation again. General! Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. That's right, he's a colonel, my bad. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Gorlukovich man. Gorlukovich! A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal. An arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries. An army without a country. And also, Gorlukovich is dead if you played the beginning of the game. Because Ocelot killed him. But we'll get more into that later, I guess. I'm sure... I wonder if the Colonel and, the, and like, Raiden right here even know that Gorlukovich is dead. Hmm. Be curious to know. I guess we'll just keep on going in until we see something cool. Uh-oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Remember, we don't have any weapons. All we have... We're only equipped with an awesome cartwheel. Look at this. All these bitches... Aha! It's Snake. I knew it. Solid Snake. I guess I should call him Solid, huh? It's Solid. Hey, yo. I just saw Solid. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. He's got some we skills, baby. ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? <laughs> not nerd. Node. <laughs> oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals. Yeah, and I get it. Jesus, reports. talk about a technical we need explanation. To get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high. Should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. This is why Snake was cooler. He didn't need all this explanation. He already understood all this Just shit. Just push the action button in front of the node. <laughs> How do I do all of that? Just press one button. Oh, and allow okay. You access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Well, then we better Stay move quick, bruh. Got it. Better move quick. I wonder if I'm actually in danger of them waking up. Let's just hurry up and get over there and press the button. Damn, these motherfuckers are out. They out. Let's get our map set up. Radar set up, whatever. Anyway, whoever this riding dude is, he seems to be a rookie. He doesn't know shit. What the fuck? Was it supposed to happen? Okay. I guess it was supposed to happen, because good lord, he just got electrified, son. Code name. Oh, shit, we actually get to pick a code name? What is the point of this? You know what my code name is going to be. You already know, bro. I don't know if this means anything, but you know my code name. They're never going to say my code name out loud. You already know that. I'm just going to have to remember it, probably. So, um, that is not a G. How do I go back? How do you go back? Oh, BS. BS. Should we, can we put a space? Yes, we can. Well, well then we're going to be Funky G, son. Hell yeah. Birthday? Hmm, do I want to let you guys know what my real birthday is? Oh, if you don't have to pick a year, then who cares? You guys can know what day my birthday is. I don't care. But you don't need to know the year. Nationality? UK, Ukraine, Ur Uruguay, USA, Uzbek. Oh my god, we could go here all day and just pick... We could pick anything. We got all the countries in the whole world! It's crazy! Holy crap, you really do. That's a lot of countries, guys. Well, I don't know if you guys are all American like me, but I might as well go with what I am. We from the USA. USA. 
Got to represent a little bit, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, wow. This is actually like... Uh, well, everything seems to be okay with me. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's do this. Uh, do I have to just click exit? I guess so. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have to press select because it went automatically. What do you want now, Colonel God? You talk too much. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. Okay. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies. I can't help but feel like I should skip this, but, you position. know, there might be something new about anything, you know? I don't really want to weather, skip it if there's something new about if you're it. discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The big shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to. Oh, come on, let it be Mei Ling. Jack, is everything all right? That's not Mei Ling, is it? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data. Oh, I thought it was going to be Mei Ling. So this is Rose that? Chick? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. Oh, Rosemary, okay. An and according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out. But sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? I can already see where the colonel's going with that one. I'll explain in a second. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. All righty. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Okay, so apparently his real name is Jack. I'm just going on up on a limb here. But, um, let me go ahead and just uh, talk a little bit about... Oh, crap. Crap. What? Hold on, we got more talking. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. Oh, I see. We gotta wait till the elevator gets there. Outside. I was like trying to press the button. Run, bitch, run! Run, bitch, run! Oh shit! He already saw me. Ah oh, fuck! Shit! Ah oh, shit! I don't know. Shit! Ah oh, shit! I'm gonna die! 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 You's gonna die! Ah oh, shit! We're hella gonna. Do this small ass room is not enough. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I not doing that in the first place? Kick some ass, bitch. Take some names. 
Kick some ass, take some names. All right, hopefully that's enough. Uh, sorry, I got in the middle of a turmoil there for a second. I wasn't sure what to do about it. Um, what I was trying to say, is the elevator here yet? Okay, the elevator's here, let's just go. What I was trying to say is the colonel said he was, he brought the chick along on this mission for a reason. And, and Raiden basically said it already. He said his personal feelings shouldn't have anything to do with it. But the colonel's a sneaky little bastard if you remember Metal Gear Solid 1. So I'm thinking, hold on. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. We actually get to Sons see his face, Liberty. so hold on. The name of their leader is Solid Snake. Oh. Okay, so see the colonel's a the sneaky little bastard. Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right. But he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky. Oh, how wrong you are. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Okay, well, the Colonel is very confused. So, Raiden, what a blondie he is. Ah, oh, come on. Quit talking, Colonel. I want to talk for a second. Jesus. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries. But it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training, after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? God, more fucking cutscene shit. God damn. The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. Okay. Not too difficult. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. That way I can freaking see the map, because I'm guessing I can't see a map at this point. So anyways, like I was trying to say, the Colonel's a sneaky bastard. Remember how he screwed over Solid Snake in the first game, at least trying to like... Like, he didn't really screw him over, but he like, he held so much shit from him and kept it, kept shit secret. And it kind of screwed over the ending. Not, it didn't screw over the ending, but it messed up Snake's whole thing with Meryl and whatnot. I don't know. I guess the Colonel really wasn't all bad in the first game, it's just he was a sneaky little bastard. Anyways, in this game, it looks like he doesn't know what he thinks he knows. If we, if we, I don't know if we're supposed to know this already, but if you pay attention to the beginning tanker part, you can kind of tell that uh, Solid Snake, that is, you know, like they said, they said the leader is Solid Snake. The leader's probably Ocelot, because Ocelot has... How are we supposed to get in here? The fuck? What am I trying to say? Oh, because Ocelot was, uh... He was... What's up? What am I trying to say? Ocelot was... Oh, he had, uh... Liquid Snake's arm. That's what I was trying to say. And so he could use Liquid Snake's DNA, which matches Solid Snake's. If I'm spoiling the story of this game, don't tell me. I'm just... This is me completely speculating on the story, because that's kind of what I do when I play these games. If anybody who's new to my channel watching this LP, I speculate the story. And right now, I'm just pressing buttons. It's like, where the fuck do I go? I'm not even sure. I don't even have anything to, like, look at. I don't see a terminal. Anyway, so... so Solid Snake probably is... That real Solid Snake's probably here. He's the one that's the, the solo unit. And then the... the the one that's the leader is probably Ocelot. Now this is all speculation. Aha! So I press triangle. Now what? Can we go down? Uh, my grip. My grip is only level one. That's not high enough level. I don't... Maybe that doesn't mean anything? What the fuck? <laughs> I press triangle thinking that that was going to do something. That's locked. We know that already. But what the hell, man? Can I, like... I don't have any weapons. All I have is a scope and a sensor. <sighs> Just gotta try to keep climbing shit, I guess. Just keep pressing triangle until something happens. I don't see any doors. Fucking ride in. Quit running into shit. Maybe he could, like, side flip over something. I don't know. Climb up some fucking boxes. <laughs> oh my god, what do I... Where do I go, guys? Am I not seeing it? 
I don't see a terminal or nothing. Whatever. I'll stop speculating about the story now, but what the fuck am I supposed to do? I mean, it seems like I'm supposed to go to the sides of one of these things, but how? Where? Just like looking around at the speed of sound. Don't know where to go because this game is so confusing. This way. This looks like a door. Does it not? Warning. Warning. I don't know. I see warning. I see birds. What the fuck, man? I keep running into that shit. What is this shit? <sighs> I'm confused. <sighs> snake. I mean, snake. Raiden, why are you such a bitch? I don't really see anywhere to go. Yeah, please. Let me know where to go. Who, who was that and what are they doing? No, god damn it. Get out of here. Get, get. How do I get out of here? I don't want to be in here. No, I don't want to call her either. I didn't mean to call her, by the way. Don't save it yet. I, got, I at least want to figure out what to do. Let's call the colonel. Maybe he can tell me what the fuck to do. He said find a terminal, but I don't see shit up here. Colonel? What the hell am I supposed to do? According to the SEAL Team 10's communications, the president. Yeah, I got that. Strut B, ride in, head for Strut B. It's northwest of Strut A. You're currently heading across the connecting bridge between. You can get to the connecting bridge from the first floor. Get down from the roof to the first floor. Get down from the roof. Sure. You know. Hold on. I knew there was a beep beep auxiliary call. Right and look at that wire fence. Uh huh. You may be able to crawl through it. Crawl through it. Oh, oh son of a bitch! I know. I shut up. Crawl through it. Which fence is, is this? Oh, you fuck! You can't even see that. How are you supposed to see that? Even in HD, I can't see that. The fuck is that shit? Oh my god! Another call. This colonel doesn't shut up, does he? I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I played right. fucking Metal Gear One. Seal Team Ten is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the seals? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Well, shit. We're finally going to get inside somewhere. Strut A pump room. Yay, we actually got somewhere. We're not stuck on the roof anymore. But where are we now? Besides the fact that we're in some room. And why did the music get all funky all of a sudden? It's just like... Doom, doom. I'll go check the room. I'll leave the first floor to ah, you, shit. Okay? He's coming. Understood. Check the roof. Oh, is there another path to the roof? There must be another path to the roof. What are you doing, Raiden? What are you doing? The terminal must be in the middle. Yeah, figures. God damn it, Colonel. Quit it! Shut your face! Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Oh God, it's not that hard, Flatten dude. Yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. That one I already know. Got it. I haven't utilized it in this playthrough yet, or I should say this game yet, but I will. Um, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna go and check out these lockers real quick, see if there's anything cool inside. Half naked ladies for the win? For the win? No. Ugh. Ammo for SOCOM guns and M9 guns, and I got no damn guns. Eventually, we're gonna get some guns, I imagine. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to Rose and save the game. She probably has some shit to say just like Otakon does, just like Mei Ling does. Jack, so we're going to make sure we show the saves on screen just like we did in Metal Gear 1 and like I did with the first half of this game. I feel strange calling it the first half since you guys said this is the beginning of the game, basically. It's, it's weird to have played that beginning four or five episodes that I did and now call this the beginning of the game. But here we go. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? Not yet. Again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. 
I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? <laughs> tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Yeah, right. That Colonel is going to be bullshitting you the whole time. Although, if the Colonel honestly believes that Solid Snake is dead, then I'm sure he'll give you all the info you want. But like I said, the Colonel... Maybe in the dark for once, or he knows everything. I guess we'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2. Where we'll do some stuff, and some things, and some things, and some stuff. But, wow. We're not Solid Snake anymore. What does this game become? See you guys next time. Peace.